I've had a lot of comments recently on videos asking me how I've got the latest version of the Outer Kings mod and also how it works with the latest version of CK2, which is 2.8.2. This is just a quick guide showing you how to do that rather than responding to obviously every single comment I get. I'm just going to send you all here. This will hopefully show you from start to finish how to install everything you're going to need. There are a couple of warnings associated with this. You will be installing the SVN version of the Elder Kings mod, which is the development version. There are going to be bugs. There are going to be updates on a day-to-day -day basis that might break your save games. There are also going to be no official support for this. So if you ask on the forums why something's broken with the SVN version, they're not going to help you, basically. This is for development, mainly. You can play on it, obviously, as I've been doing, but this is for developers. Secondly, you are also going to need to download a program called Tortoise SVN. This is how you will access the server that lets you download the uh, latest version of the Elder Kings mod. It also lets you do cool stuff like update it from a day-to-day -day basis just by clicking on it. Um, I'll show you that as we get to it. So what you want to do is head over to the Elder Kings mod sub-forum here. This is on the official Paradox forum, so it's nothing dodgy. Go to the second link on that called SVN Public Access, and it says they're not for bug reports, so don't leave any bug reports. Bother me in the YouTube comments if you have to. And that will take you to this page here, this sub-thread. Now, here's a pretty good guide by Corba, one of the developers of the Outer Kings, how to um, get the SVN version working on your PC and what you're going to need to do that. There are some, obviously, caveats up there. You need 3.5 gigabytes space just in case the mod gets that large. And you're also going to need the client that I've said earlier, Tortoise SVN. This is a pretty good guide if you'd like to follow this rather than watching this video. Obviously, feel free. The links to everything we're doing today are in the description of the video. Um, and obviously read along so to get torts svn follow the link uh or just google torts svn if you don't trust me that much this will bring you to this page here you're going to want to download most of you anyway you're going to want to download the 64-bit os version which i've put a box around there in red some of you running on older pcs will want the 32-bit os version that's for xp and vista certain versions of them uh you may need a 32-bit os version but again it's just testing if you don't know how to find out your, your OS version, try them both and see which works, essentially. So once you've done that, it's going to redirect you to a download page here. You should automatically have the file download. If not, click the text in the blue box there. And then if you're on Firefox, you will need to manually save the file with the red box. If you're on Chrome, it should start automatically. Then once, once that's downloaded, go ahead and run it. This will give you this type of program here. And I'm just going to show you how to install it and get it running. So... Follow the installer defaults for the most part. Just here you can change the install folder if you're running multiple hard drives. I'm just going to use the default. And it's as simple as that. That's it. Torts SVN is now installed. And you'll know it's worked because if you right click in your Elder Kings, uh, sorry, your CK2 mod folder, which is here by the way, if you don't know. that's This is the default install location. So that's uh, my computer, my documents, or documents. Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 2, mod. Uh, if you don't have a mod folder, just create one in the CK2 folder. MOD, no capitals, no spaces, nothing like that. If you've used Steam, you should already have one. If you've installed mods before, you'll already have one. Things like that. Uh, you'll know if Torts SVM worked like the same because you'll have these options appear in your Windows context menu. That's just by right-clicking. So what you want to do now is create a new folder in here called EKSVN, one word or caps. And then if you right-click on that and click SVN Checkout, it will open up this uh, Tortoise SVN box here. So what you want to do is type in this for the URL of repository. It saved mine from earlier because I've, I've used this before, but this should be blank for you. Um, this is all available. Like I said, all, all the things you need to type in for this are in the forum link. If not, if you don't have that open, if you only got one monitor, that's https colon double forward slash svn.elderkings.de slash elderkings, capital E, capital K, all one word. The checkout directory, this is where the folder is going to save to, should be in Paradox Interactive CK2 mod, EKSVN. Don't type this in exact unless your name is also Sam, otherwise it won't work. Once you've done that, click OK, and it should start downloading the mod. As you can see here, it'll download it from the master server. It can take quite a long time because there, it's quite a sizable mod. I believe it's around 800 megabytes or so at its current standing. Um... And it is transferring relatively slowly. Obviously, it'll be faster if you've got a faster internet connection. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this quickly because I've already done this step, luckily. So that we don't have to sit here and wait for that to completely download. So when that's done, it should look something like this. 
EKSBN and ESM.mod that may appear in this folder. As you can see there, ESM.mod. What you need to do is you need to copy this from the EKSVN folder you created and paste it into your mod folder. And this tells your, this is just how regular CK2 mod works. You can even open that up in Notepad if you want to just, just double check things here. It should say path slash mod slash EKSVN, which you can see here, mod EKSVN. And that just tells you your CK2 that there's a mod there, basically. So what you can do now is if you open up CK2, assuming I can find it here, you have to open up Steam. If you go into your mod here, there we go, we can see Elder King's dev, and that is selected. So that's all you need to do. It's as simple as that. Uh, obviously, if that isn't selected, select it. And these are all my Steam Workshop mods, so don't worry about these. And that's it, as simple as that. Now, another thing I will mention, oh god, there's all my Steam Workshops mod downloaded. You feel free to ignore that. If you need to update this at all, uh, your EK SVN mod, right click and click SVN update. And what that would do is that would download all the latest files from the server there that you typed in. I wouldn't recommend doing this every day, just do it every week or so because obviously you won't get many updates. I updated it this morning and it will show you the latest revision of the mod. That's it. That's how you update it as well. That should be everything. Um, if I haven't explained anything well, if there are things I've missed, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and help you where I can. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. All right, sweet. Good luck, basically, because it, it can be pretty complicated if you've not done anything like this before. So, um, yeah, good work.